This is a game that developed because of a happy meeting between two different faculty and two different schools. We had great difficulty getting students to learn and retain and practice long enough to retain the skills of aseptic technique. When I met Anthony, he was a new person within the computer sciences division of uh, the university at that time, and he developed apps for healthcare. When he showed me what he could do, uh, I was delighted and I said, there might be something that we can work on. One day he showed up with Oculus Rift glasses and he said, what can we do with these? And after I understood what they did, I said, we can build a game for teaching a septic technique using Foley catheter as an exemplar with these glasses. We can build in gaming strategies so that students might be willing to practice longer and develop and retain the skills that they need for doing this uh, procedure appropriately. I think one of the most interesting things about the Virtual Reality Nursing Project, besides the actual solution itself, is the fact that this is a truly transdisciplinary project where you had scholars from various parts of the university coming together with their disciplinary knowledge to provide a real-world solution. I'm a part of the Games Interactive Media and Mobile Program, and what we do is we specialize in virtual reality, augmented reality, and mobile application solutions. And so for us to have the opportunity to come together with nursing, uh, to uh, apply our knowledge in a way that, that helps patients and that helps students learn is very, very satisfying. As a nurse educator, this project is really important to our students in that it gives them an opportunity to practice their procedural skills before they need to go out and do them on patients in the community. We tested this game with a group of students, gave them an hour to get in the game and practice, find their way around, and we compared that to students who practice traditionally on a mannequin with faculty oversight. The students who use this game clearly spent significantly more time on task and they completed more procedures than their counterparts who practiced traditionally. And we're really excited about the potential of this tool for education.